So regardless of whatever category you fall under, whether you want to be sexy, whether you want to be serious, whether you want to be safe and snuggly, the general tips that I can give you that I think will be very helpful to you. Hey, new hairdo, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Guys, I don't know about you, but I got tired. Of carrying that blonde wig so i needed to switch it up with a new look so shout out to my girl sandra for coming through and giving your girl a whole new look i know you're also asking yourself why does she have glasses on so i don't know if you can see my left eye is kind of swollen but it's kind of not working because this light is reflecting in my glasses so i'm just gonna take it off indulge the makeup free face if my eye is swollen best believe i'm not about to put makeup in my eye to make it worse so don't worry i'll come back next week with a bang okay let's get into this video welcome guys welcome to my part of the youtube verse and on my channel i help you create a versatile closet by showing you how to restyle or style one item in multiple ways i also show you how to upcycle and recycle old items i show you style tips style tricks and fashion finds so do well to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if all this sounds like your jam so without further ado let's go into today's video so today we're going to be talking about stay at home wear I don't want to use the term loungewear because I think loungewear is relative. So we're talking about what you would wear to stay at home and still be very comfortable without looking frumpy. Okay, so we're tackling this in terms of three S's. Now, do you want to be sexy? Hey, baby. Do you want to be serious per my last email or do you want to be safe and snuggly? So regardless of whatever category you fall under, whether you want to be sexy, whether you want to be serious, whether you want to be safe and snuggly, the general tips that I can give you that I think will be very helpful to you. Now, these tips apply to you whether you still have a job, you're lucky enough to still have a job, or whether you are sadly lost a job or you're on furlough, these tips will still apply. So tip number one, have a routine. Now, this is the same routine you would follow if you were supposed to get ready and go to like your regular nine to five job. So things like getting your alarm to wake you up at a certain time, a reasonable time in the morning, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, having breakfast. And then my tip number two, get out of your PJs. What happens is that when you have a routine and you get out of your PJs or whatever it is that you went to bed with, it gives you that certain boost or burst of energy that you need to go about your day. You find that you're more productive. But if you don't take a shower and you stay in your PJs or your nightwear, you find that you're very lethargic. You might spend the whole day watching TV, binging on social media. You grab a tub of ice cream. You're not as productive as when you're, you know, you're up and you're ready to go okay now the third tip i have is you want to still be very stylish while not compromising comfort so whatever it is you choose to wear even if you're sexy even if you're serious you still want to be comfortable in whatever it is that you're wearing now we're starting off with the serious category now if you fall into this category there are a few tips that i'm going to give you that should help you the number one tip is to designate an area of the house for your work now if you're lucky enough to have an office space then kudos to you but if you don't then you want to like relegate a corner of the house to your office space maybe you take like a corner of the dining table or the corner of your kitchen island the corner of your couch just make sure that that becomes your office space and everybody knows to stay away because that's your office space tip number two is to have a routine like i said before so things like taking a shower brushing your teeth getting dressed taking a lunch break making sure that you're clocking in clocking out whatever it is that you would do on a regular work day Tip number three is to actually get dressed. And I know I've said this before, get dressed like you're going to work, which then leads me to tip number four. When you're getting dressed, make sure that you separate work clothes from loungewear. Because like I said, loungewear makes you feel like more lethargic. Work clothes just give you, gives you that energy you need to get through your work day. Now, if you're somebody who wants to be more professional and maintain that level of professionalism, you would if you're going actually going into an office, maybe you're a boss, you're a manager, or you work in like a strict office space and you want to maintain that level of professionalism, then you can go ahead and actually dress up in like a full-on suit with a blazer, your pantsuit, skirt suit, whatever it is, a dress and a blazer, something very serious. 
Now, if you're like the rest of us, the normal, <laughs> I think normal people in the world, then you can go ahead and make it more chill. You can take off the blazer and wear like shirts and pants or even like shirts and a pair of jeans or a top and a pair of jeans. Now, if you don't want to do pants all together, you can go ahead and like wear like a shirt dress. I saw these two very pretty shirt dresses on Shein. The yellow and white polka dot dress that I absolutely love. Yellow is such a happy color. And when you wear that yellow dress, there's nothing that your irritating and annoying work colleague can do to you. No email they can send to piss you off. Because you're wearing yellow and yellow is a happy color. I also like this contraption of a dress with like the alternating patterns and alternating prints. It's absolutely beautiful. Also, remember that when you're going to work, you're not going to go to work barefooted. And you're not going to wear flip-flops to work so again this is for the serious people you want to put on a pair of shoes now it doesn't have to be serious like six inch heels or like stiletto heels or like boots you can opt for something like loafers or like ballet flats yes i know that nobody is looking at your feet but you know it doesn't hurt now the next category of people are people that want to keep it sexy now there's a saying that for every disappointment there's a blessing now, for some people, their work life has taken over their actual life such that they're so busy and they don't get to spend time with their spouse or their significant other. Now, I know there's a lot of craziness in the world with the pandemic and all that. But for some people, this has presented an opportunity where they get to spend time with each other. Yes, I know you're working, but you're in the same space. So you get to spend more time around each other. Now, these people want to spice things up in their relationship and you want to keep it sexy without looking like you're doing too much, right? You don't want to be in a lingerie all day. You don't want to be in a thong all day or underwear all day. There's a good number of options that you can try. The number one option, I think, is a romper. I find rompers to be very sexy with, without looking like you're doing too much, right? I like this white romper a lot because it's, first of all, it's tube. The fabric looks very light. It looks like it's kind of see-through, so leaving something to the imagination. I also like this lilac romper too because, listen, I don't need to say too much. You can already see that the model is feeling herself. Now, if you don't want to do rompers all together, you can opt for like a very nice form-fitting figure-hugging dress. I like this yellow dress. I found this picture on Amazon. In fact, I'm thinking I might get that for myself. Yellow, again, yellow, bright, happy, form-fitting. If you don't want to do a tube, you can opt for this tank fuchsia pink, very body hugging form fitting dress also remember that these are all suggestions you actually don't have to buy anything you can work with what you already have in your closet all that matters is how these outfits make you feel do they make you feel sexy do they make you feel comfortable do they make you feel sophisticated dress to please yourself okay and in this case to please your partner but i digress if you don't want to do dresses and you don't want to do rompers you can go ahead and get like a two-piece okay now two pieces are bringing the sexy okay i like this two pieces a lot i'm thinking of getting it for myself they have different colors so i think when you change the colors the prices change i also like this satin piece from asos now one might argue that it's a pj some people might think it's a loungewear whatever it is to you i like it i find that satin i think is a very sexy fabric and i like this look a lot so the third category is for those that want to be safe and snuggly which is just a fancy way of saying you're trying to be comfortable so whether you want to spend more time with the family or you have errands to run while still looking put together and not frumpy or even those that are working from home but don't fall in the serious category and you want to look you want to be more comfortable then this is for you if you fall into this category then you have some very nice options i like this two-piece gray outfit and even this tan outfit they are both from shein now before i go ahead i know you guys will be like why is she just talking about shein or asos or amazon now here's the deal a good number of my viewers are not in the United States, so I try to find stores that ship worldwide. I also try to find more affordable stores because I don't know that you guys really want to spend a lot of money on loungewear, okay? So what was I saying? Okay, I was talking about the grey set and the tan set. I think they're absolutely beautiful. You can easily dress them down or like put on like sneakers and go run an errand. Another type of two-piece set that I tend to see a lot, I think people are liking a lot these days, is like the knitwear type of two-piece set. This pink one is from ASOS. Or like the full-on jogger set, whether it has the hoodie or not, people tend to like this set a lot. Now, if you don't want a pants set altogether, you can opt for like something with shorts. I love this two-piece black and white alternating color set this is absolutely gorgeous i think i'm gonna get this as well like i can just see you wearing it at home or like wearing it with a pair of sneakers and going on errands or like wearing it with a nice pair of stiletto mules and a nice purse and it just elevates the outfit 
or you can go for this tie and dye option now tie and dye seems to be a big hype this summer as well so you want to stay trendy or you can also try or and or because there's nothing that says that you have to buy one or the other you can try this nice yellow two-piece set now this yellow set can quickly go from simple and comfortable to sexy depending on the size of the bumper yes i said bumper now if you don't want shorts or pants you can opt for like a nice simple dress a maxi dress i like this yellow dress from amazon now guys I promise you, yellow is not my favorite color. In fact, I don't have a favorite color. But I think that yellow is such a happy, bright color. And with all the sadness, all the death, all the craziness that is going on around, having something that is bright will create such a positive energy or give such a nice aura around you. And so I think that's why I tend to lean towards like the yellow options. I also like this red dress from Shein. I particularly like the back because you know sometimes you just want to let the girls hang loose i don't know that there's anybody that is seriously wearing underwear in this time but if you are and you're working from home and you're staying at home kudos to you because sometimes i just want to let things go free so these are the options i have for you i hope they're helpful now there's nothing that says that you have to buy anything from scratch right you can just go through your closet and hopefully this would help you determine what you're going to wear based on whatever category you fall in I hope you guys like this video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so you know when i post new videos so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video love and light bye